purpose of the rip tool is to take vertices or edges that you have on your mesh and disconnect them. It's as simple as that. Let's show you this in practice. So first of all, we select edges that we may want to. And I think what I'll do here is I will add a few more edge loops. So let's do that now. Just so we've got something to play with. The next thing that we have to do is select the area where we want the rip tool to affect. So I've got vertices selected at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select a whole bunch of them like this. Okay, okay, maybe select a few more. And then what we can do is come down here to rip region, left click on that, and then you'll get this yellow circle that appears. Very simply, all you have to do is left click and drag, and those will separate. And that's all there is to it. When it comes to options, there's only really one for the rip tool, and it can only be found as part of rip region, okay? And that option is this, fill. So normally, when we select an edge or a bunch of vertices and we pull them out, it is separated, okay? If I take another set of edges up here and then I click fill, and I pull that out, hey presto, the edge is actually filled. And that can be handy in particular cases. In this case, if I added more damage to this can, like I did on the smooth and randomized video, which you can also see, I'm gonna put a link to it in the top right hand corner right about now. What you may have is another damaged can like we have in that video, and what you can do is perhaps add some edges like this. Maybe there could be a few more here, which you pull out, perhaps something like that. And then, you know, you could perhaps just start, use it as something which shows damage inside of, inside of that can. I've got proportional editing turned on here just to make it a bit more interesting. There is a secondary function within the RIP tool as well, which you can access by holding left mouse button on the relevant icon and coming down to RIP edge. Uh, what we can do here is just select an edge. If I just go back to RIP region and I just pull this out, we get a tear in our edges and vertices, okay? But if I go up here and I choose RIP edge and then I pull it out, you have a look here, the edge has been separated from this vertice right here. I turn vertices on. This edge ended there, okay? And what's happened is as we pulled the edge out, the faces have stayed intact, but we've created a new edge, which is highlighted here, and a new edge, which is highlighted here. Now, it's not very good geometry for obvious reasons. This polygon is very, very bent over, but that can be useful if you need to use it for some reason. I personally haven't really used it. I just use the rip region and I use fill when I need them to be connected because I get slightly, but slightly better geometry to play with in the beginning. Although this could be cleaned up. So I could select these and I could maybe join those. So this one, could join them. And then we've, we're already starting to get something that's a little bit better. And we could do the same on this side, just to get rid of any really weird shading. And then I could just continue adding more damage to this can using primarily the uh, rip region, just to start making it feel uh, a little bit more like it's been crushed and, and damaged up. And this is a great example of where I could select this edge and I could then use the rip region tool to just bring that out like that and then maybe just curve it over something like this so it just looks like it's all started to just come apart. Do the same thing perhaps here, perhaps there and maybe get some more interesting cuts in there.
And there we go. We've got something that just shows where there's been tears on the on the whole thing. Um, I could just continue playing around with this, of course, um, and dragging it wherever I wanted to. But that just gives you a bit of an idea of how the rip tool can be used. And I thought the cam was a nice quick way to show it. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next video.